Potentially outdated renderings offer glimpse of SpaceX's Starship in human landing system configuration. Recent renderings have emerged, showcasing what appears to be a refined design of SpaceX's Starship in its human landing system, HLS configuration. However, it's important to note that the authenticity of these images remains unverified at this time. David Willis, known as at the Primal Dino on X, released these images, claiming they depict new iterations of SpaceX's HLS variant of the Starship. Notably, the space community has not witnessed any significant updates to the spacecraft's design since NASA awarded SpaceX the HLS contract in 2021. The earlier design displayed a sleek white rocket adorned with integrated solar panels on top. While aesthetically appealing, this design, like most spacecraft concepts, may not entirely align with practicality. Nevertheless, it has served as the point of reference when discussing the possibility of Starship landing on the moon as part of NASA's Artemis program. So what sets the new design apart? According to Willis, who is unable to confirm whether these renders are outdated, several key changes have been introduced. First, the solar panels are now deployed from bays at the top of the rocket. While in flight, they can unfurl, resembling the deployment of solar panels on many spacecraft. Once the Starship lands on the lunar surface, these panels lower to become flush with the lander's side. The second noteworthy modification concerns the landing legs. In the updated design, these legs are noticeably smaller and appear to be fixed in place. This stands in contrast to the original design, which featured larger, possibly retractable legs. The implication of this change is a potential reduction in overall weight, as there would be no need for the legs to retract into the body. Finally, if these renderings indeed represent SpaceX's current vision, the thrusters have been repositioned into multiple pods distributed around the lander. Placing the landing thrusters higher up serves to minimize the disturbance they create on the lunar surface during landing, preventing large rocks from being flung about. Although the authenticity of these renderings remains uncertain, they match SpaceX's typical style and quality. The rendering of the Starship HLS on the lunar surface even features the same ground features and background as the original design. It's plausible that these images were created for internal briefings with stakeholders like NASA, but were never publicly released. As for the current status of SpaceX's HLS Starship, limited information has been disclosed by SpaceX and NASA. Some clues can be found at the Starbase production facility, where nose cones labeled HLS have been spotted, likely indicative of internal mock-ups. However, concrete details on the development progress are scarce. One aspect that can be discussed is the launch vehicle development, which has progressed relatively slowly. Earlier this year, SpaceX successfully launched its first fully integrated Starship rocket, nearly reaching the stage of separation. Subsequently, the company faced regulatory delays while awaiting approval for its next launch. Bill Gerstenmaier, SpaceX's Vice President of Build and Flight Reliability, mentioned during a recent hearing that the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, needs increased resources for licensing rocket launches. While the FAA has concluded its Starship review, it is waiting for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to complete consultations before granting approval for further launches. Despite the uncertainties surrounding Starship's progress, NASA is still aiming to utilize the spacecraft to land humans on the moon for the first time since the Apollo program, with a target date of 2026. However, this timeline becomes increasingly challenging as Starship remains grounded awaiting its next journey. SpaceX and NASA have decided to postpone the upcoming Dragon cargo launch to the International Space Station by an additional two days, now scheduled for November 9th. Originally slated for liftoff from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida on November 5th, the robotic SpaceX mission, designated as CRS-29, faced a delay to November 7th. This adjustment was made to allow more time for pre-launch preparations. A new announcement on November 2nd brought yet another delay of two days, with NASA explaining that this extension was deemed necessary to ensure the completion of final pre-launch closeout ahead of liftoff. Assuming all proceeds as planned, the Dragon spacecraft will embark on its journey atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket at 8.28 p.m. EST on November 9th with an anticipated arrival at the International Space Station, 
ISS, early on the morning of November 11th. The primary cause of this latest delay is linked to an issue with one of the Dragon's Draco thrusters. NASA disclosed that during the initial propellant loading and preparation for the CRS-29 mission, a leak of NTO, nitrogen tetroxide oxidizer, was detected in a Draco thruster valve. In accordance with standard procedure, this necessitated a temporary halt in operations for troubleshooting. Following a thorough inspection of the valve and associated data, the decision was made to replace the affected thruster. In an update on Thursday evening, NASA officials stated, SpaceX continues to keep NASA informed throughout the process, and the joint team collectively decided to shift the launch to account for the initial part replacement and subsequent system checkouts and data reviews. As the name suggests, CRS-29 represents the 29th Commercial Resupply Services mission carried out by SpaceX for NASA. The Dragon spacecraft is packed with approximately 6,500 pounds, 2,950 kilograms, of supplies and scientific equipment for its journey to the ISS. Among the scientific instruments on board is a two-way laser array designed to test high-speed communications in low Earth orbit, a NASA experiment focused on studying disturbances in Earth's atmosphere, and a European Space Agency investigation aimed at enhancing water recovery capabilities on the ISS. Dragon stands out as one of three robotic spacecraft responsible for delivering cargo to the orbiting laboratory. Notably, it is the sole vehicle with the ability to return items from the ISS to Earth. While Dragon is reusable, the other two freighters, Northrop Grumman's Cygnus vehicle and Russia's Progress craft, are designed to burn up in Earth's atmosphere at the conclusion of their missions in orbit.